Hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is uh, late, I guess, uh, Tuesday the, what, 15th, something like that. Uh, gonna go ahead, uh, got slowed down a lot more than I intended to be tonight, but we're going to start by unboxing a brand new Skyliner Swap 4 Swapper. That would be Magna Charge. Uh, here you get a good look at this packaging. Uh, the wheel, of course, I th uh, yeah, this is one Activision sent out, so that's why. I was thinking, trying to think where I got him. Uh, there's a Magna Ranger, uh, Magna Shake, Magna Loop, and of course Magna Charge. Those kind of our four first initial ones outside of, you know, your console starter packs, if you will. Uh, packaging looks really cool. I've actually been excited about Magna Charge. I think I've mentioned it several times. He reminds me of a couple of the robots from the Super Solvers Midnight Rescue game. It was put out by the Learning Company. It was like a uh, really old Windows game. Uh, it's one of those ones, if you still have it, you can't even play it unless you go and like get some special drivers or something. Unless, of course, you have like an archaic uh, Packard Bell or something sitting around and maybe you can fire it up. Uh, I'd like to do a playthrough on this really good game, but uh, he just he's kind of got that same vibe as like Electro and Rolo. Uh, there's a couple of robots, but probably uh, no one has a clue what I'm talking about. If you did grow up and you played the game, uh, let me know in the comments section or on the blog. Uh, Magna Charge, as you can see, Tech Element, no shocker, they're actually very fitting for the Tech Element. Uh, Magna Charge, Attract to Attack. That is his slogan. His Swap Force ability, of course, is Speed. That ties in nicely with what you see down here, which is Nitro Magna Charge. More on that in our next unboxing. Uh, pretty sweet little setup there. I kind of like the colorings, the red and the orange, uh, back with the green kind of all ties in well. Uh, usually that would look horrible. I think it looks pretty sweet there. Also note, uh, you can kind of pick up on a magnetic field, pull them in the gears. Wow, nice little touch there. On the back side, once again, uh, we're pretty well done with our 3DS and Dark Starter Pack stuff, so pretty much any time you see this, most likely it's going to be Blast Zone and Washbuckler indicating the swap sequences. Magna Charge, create 250 plus combinations and his swap zone power is speed. Uh, other characters featured, of course, are the others in the single packs, Free Ranger, Rattleshake, and Hoot Loop. Again, Free Ranger and Rattleshake are available in the 3DS starter pack. Those are your two featured characters. So really, Magna Charge and Hoot Loop are the two kind of on the fringe. And then on the flip side, Magna Charge already has Nitro Magna Charge. And Hoot Loop, um, Nitro Magna Charge, of course, being exclusive to Target here in the U.S. Hoot Loop already has an Alt Deco, uh, that being Enchanted Hoot Loop, exclusive to Walmart. If they put the Skylanders out, I don't know, maybe they think it's got postponed until after their Christmas displays or something. Uh, that said, as you might have guessed, being a swapper, he is only compatible with Skylander Swap Force. That said, I mean, you could literally buy these just to display. And uh, I've had a lot of parents tell me their kids, you know, they don't have the game yet, but they had to have a swapper or something along those lines. Uh, apparently, the kids are just enjoying running around with them, you know, swapping them, pulling them apart, putting them together, etc. So, uh, for whatever that's worth. That said, we're going to go ahead and open him up. Again, now that we're kind of done with the crazy stuff, uh, crazy time-consuming stuff, that is, that being, of course, your starter packs. I think I can get these back. Uh, my videos are always going to be longer than probably anyone else's, but, I mean, for me, these will be uh, relatively short. I won't have any more of the 40-minute stuff. Only things that will get up there, probably like your battle packs, uh, adventure packs, uh, possibly triples, anything special along the way. This one cut a little bit better, but for whatever reason, it seems like they have increased like the tack and the adhesive. Uh, with this giant surround last time, I mean, I got to the point this hardly ever happened. I just really had to be in like a big hurry or something. That said, uh, there it is from the back side. We're gonna go. It looks really cool from that side. Can't wait to see what this plastic out of our way. Uh, there we go, we slide him out. Check out how slick that worked again. No tape was used on the uh, little name tag there. That's actually why it stayed in place. So, Although that tour, uh, it is covered up for the most part, particularly if you put the figure back in or something. Uh, we'll set that down to the side. Here's Magna Charge. Let's go ahead and get the sticker sheets and web codes out. 
All right, there's the stack card. We're gonna start by looking at his sticker sheet again. Note this is the full size swap force. You've got the parted line. Upper body always seems to have a lot more territory than the lower body. Underneath that is the web code and the QR code, which I cannot show you uh, because some people take what is not theirs. Uh, you know, so magnet charge. Power. Let me get that into focus for you. Uh, 110 of 200. Armor. 90 of 200. Speed or agility. Almost fully maxed out. 190 of 200. That's going to be very nice. And then luck. 70 of 200. That's going to put him at 200, 300, not 460 out of 800. So pretty respectable there. Nice artwork, I feel. Uh, once again, it's kind of what you saw in the packaging. Uh, just without kind of the green tie-in. My favorite part of unboxing the swappers is what you're about to see right here. Note this little 45 degree. We don't have to worry about light up effects. These are meant to split in half and in fact that is what they do. So uh, watch closely. I'll try to end them towards you. He came off really easy uh, but this just cracks me up every time. It even happened in the dark edition well, which surprised me. Uh, but they literally just split. That's kind of a cool feature. don't know if it was intentional or not. Uh, this was the easiest lower half that's gotten out yet. Uh, we'll take a detailed look at that here in a second. Uh, the upper halves always seem to be harder to get out, I guess, because they're more detailed. Similarly, we don't have that oversized base to kind of get grasp on. Uh, my strategy for this is just grab what I think is the beefiest part, and then if I have to, which we didn't hear, I kind of come in and just, you know, reverse the molding on the plastic inside, just kind of push it out. Uh, for what it's worth, he unboxed pretty well. So, we're going to go ahead again. We'll indicate here the swapping power. Uh, those two magnets that you see right there, that's basically how they work. Fitting. Very fitting. Attract to attack. That's basically his uh, catchphrase or slogan there. Let's go ahead and uh, brush up on his background story. Magnet Charge came from the great race of Ultron robots, but was mysteriously created with a giant magnet head. Uh, not quite sure how that happened, but it worked out well for us. Uh, this pr proved problematic as his peers were all made of metal and were constantly being pulled towards him. As a result, Magnet Charge was exiled to a far out, far away island where he eventually learned to control his magnetic powers. After years of training, he returned to his home to demonstrate his abilities but found everything completely destroyed. In searching for answers, Magnet Charge caught the attention of Master Eon. Uh, Spoiler alert, uh, coming up. He realized the unique uh, Ultron Solar was a perfect candidate for the Skylanders. So, uh, this could be one of those deals, you know, where we kind of heard way back in the day, Drill Sergeant was an Archean. Then, of course, if you're from a veteran of SSA, you might have run into the Weapon Master glitch, which I still despise. Wasn't too happy to see that guy surface, even as a little cameo announcement type character in Giants. But it played a big role, you know, Chaos's robot and giant was an Archean, he awoke the ancient civilization. Very interesting, anytime you have background stories like that, you've always got to think, you know, whether it's even going to be one of the Skylander books, a little segue for something else, personal quest, a future game, anything along those lines is possible. So uh, definitely keep in mind what we just read there about the Ultron robot race. That said, that's his backstory. You've seen his stats. What I really like here, that kind of indicates the motion or speed, kind of the swirls, even though it's just a posed figure. I think it does a nice job of the green, uh, particularly in like that ectoplasmic sublime color they selected there. Uh, very indicative of speed. Uh, they carried that over there to his eye. He's kind of got that double trouble thing going on where it looks like he's following us. In all honesty, um... I'm not sure. Let me try to get that to focus for you. I don't know if it'll happen. There we go. That truly looks like just a pan head screw uh, on the top. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. But I mean, if you weren't thinking, I mean, you would literally probably have someone try to, you know, screw and unscrew that. I just checked in case it was like a freak feature. Uh, it is just fixed. It's posed and molded that way. <laughs> what's up? Really cool. I think he looks great. He's one of the ones I was pretty excited about. Uh, looks like he's going to have some interesting powers. He's kind of got the uh, three-prong, I guess, tri-axis, if you will, hand. Other side, of course, is a cannon. And then when you've got a magnet head, uh, pretty 
pretty sweet I believe on the back side you've got more of those screws I mean they honestly this is done so well it actually looks like this is something you know you could put together kind of like a kit type robot or something um, now that I think about that I'm totally taking credit this credit for this if it happens but in terms of like the little RC cars you know or anything along those lines I think night or magnet charge make a pretty sweet little remote control type deal especially on like the one wheel you kind of have like the wobble go on when you start and stop him uh, essentially you know when he takes off he lean back when he stops he lean forward uh, then, you know ease of motion that's just something random that popped into my head but I personally uh, very excited about him I think he looks great again there's the tech element base note the blue to indicate that he is from the swap force I really hope that you know that by this point in time, even if you're a newcomer, um, anytime you see these figures, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any issue there. That uh, logo, emblem, whatever you want to call it, kind of indicative of his speed ability. Uh, again, that's what we saw in the packaging right there. Speed. So, uh, basically just kind of like a flashing motion arrow, you know, kind of with the streaks behind it in to indicate that it's motion which would imply speed uh, looks in my opinion really good issue people have had with nitro magnet charges everybody says he looks horrible um, I'm going to reserve judgment until I get him out I have said and I do stand by the fact if I had to pick from the these two initially this just looks way way better uh, that said I think nitro magnet charge is supposed to have like a speed boost which should be pretty neat and the main thing um, I would much rather have, even if it doesn't look that great or as good as the original, I would much rather have a special character to explore the second path on the body and the second path on the legs as opposed to have to double up on the character. So, uh, if you're on a budget or you just want to play the game, you know, it's not going to be anything you really miss out on. You can actually just pick whatever configuration you like better. But, if you're hardcore or they're your favorite character and you want to check out the other paths, keep that in mind. Uh, that's when you can start to appreciate it. Instead of calling it like a money grab or something, you'll actually kind of say, Hey, you know, that's pretty nice. I can explore, you know, static build-up legs with regular and then uh, drag racer path with nitro or something. So, that's it. I am very impressed with him all along the way. He's got, you know, the pan head screw going on. Uh, this truly does look like something you'd build in a robotics class. The cannon looks really good. Uh, he would actually, I know they don't do it, but I mean, he would look really nice as like a light up character, uh, particularly. I think it would be obviously splitting would be the problem, but I mean, if he was a solid piece, or maybe even like a special edition or something, to have a light behind that ectoplasmic green and then in the eye, you could possibly even do one if it was dedicated to that purpose out of the cannon. Uh, he would be like the number one light up figure of all time if he were configured in that manner. Uh, that said, this is Magna Charge, a brand new Tech Element Swap Force character. Again, slogan, attract to attack, his swap ability, speed, if you couldn't guess. Coming up next, we're going to come in here, uh, we'll take tackle this Target 2-pack, unbox it, take a look at Nitro Magna Charge. Whole reason I unboxed Magna Charge, number one, yes, I am excited about him, but number two, I want to kind of take care of the high-end, you know, exclusive type stuff, which this double pack is. And I've wanted to have Nitro or Magna Charge freed up already so we could get a real good comparison of those two. We've already done Rattleshake. I'll go over him in a little bit of detail for you uh, just to kind of stay on par. But uh, price, I believe, would be $14.99 uh, plus tax. So far, I've not had any trouble finding Magna Charge again. Probably won't have much trouble finding the swappers unless there's like a you know weather delay shipment or something until we get to black friday at that point in time who knows what's going to happen should have massive stocks that day it's just an issue of if you want to deal with people i don't so i would rather buy now uh that said he looks really cool can't wait to try him out i'm excited to see the speed and abilities uh questions comments feel free to ask here on youtube for a quicker response i suggest you use the blog one of wisdom.com you can follow me on twitter like me on facebook circle me on google plus whichever you prefer as always thanks for watching uh have to try one more thing i don't think it is all right i just had to see if that was magnetic since i pulled that apart uh, there's wash charge
There's Magnum Buckler. And we'll get these two back for you. Uh, that would have been another really cool feature if the magnet up top was actually magnetic. Uh, it felt plastic, but I just I had to double check. So, nonetheless, Magnet Charge, fourteen ninety nine, really cool looking character. I think he's going to bring a lot to the tech table. He's got the double trouble eye going on too. Coming up next, like I said, we're going to unbox Nitro Magnet Charge, so definitely check that one out. That way we can compare the two side by side. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for all the latest. Hopefully, you are enjoying the game. Uh, and some of the B-rolls, it was actually Magnet Charge that I pointed out did that special flip in the air where he just kind of like turned himself over. So be on the lookout for that in gameplay. But uh, once again, I'm going to can it here. We're going to open up Nitro Magnet Charge to get a good side-by-side -side for you in the next unboxing. Until then, we will catch you later. And as Nitro Magnet Charge would say, attract to attack.